Hi guys, my name's Dan Ryman from M&S Mackey. We're a local insurance builder based here in Adelaide. We have an office in the Riverland and an operations facility at Lonsdale. Recently, we experienced an incident on one of our construction sites and I'd like to share some lessons we learned from this incident with you today. The incident occurred on a construction site in Goodwood. Uh, we were replacing a burnt out roof to a heritage property. Uh, we had a carpentry contractor who climbed up a hip to cut a ridge board and he fell approximately four metres with no fall protection. He sustained serious injuries and an ambulance was called to take him to hospital. I immediately went to site to see for myself what had happened. This was followed shortly by a phone call to Safework SA to report the notifiable incident. My first thoughts were to check on all involved. There were several workers present at the time of the incident and we wanted to make sure that they were okay. Counselling was offered to all of the workers that were present. We then moved to preserve the site and conduct our own internal investigation as to how this had happened in accordance with Safework SA and their investigations at the same time. While we had many safety measures in place, including safe work method statements, site signage, site fencing, scaffolding, PPE, fire extinguishers, we found that we could have been more detailed in how to actually perform the work safely. We also discovered that our onboarding process could be improved. We needed to deepen our onboarding and induction process to ensure workers understood their responsibilities for their own health and safety when working on our sites. Most importantly, we've learnt that safety is a daily task. It's not something you can just set and forget. Particularly in the area of high risk work, we have two in-house safety officers that monitor trade compliance, onboarding and relevant safety documentation at all times. We also conduct regular site audits and inspections to ensure that all trades are compliant with the safe work method statements. Well, due to the nature of the incident, we were offered the opportunity to participate in an enforceable undertaking with Safework SA. This has been a valuable tool for us to assess our company and its requirements and the changes we need to make moving forwards. We have now trained two in-house safety officers through Master Builders SA, who regularly conduct site inspections and trade compliance. We have introduced new systems to aid in contract onboarding and induction processes. We've engaged external safety consultants to assist in identification of high-risk works, hazards and control measures. We've engaged Master Builders SA to assist us in furthering our training, particularly in the area of safe work method statements and high-risk works. We're currently in the process of implementing an end-to-end -end WHS management system. This is a pathway to us gaining an ISO certification mid next year to ensure that our systems are strong and safety of our workers at all times. I would like to reiterate to everybody watching the importance of attention to safety. We weren't being reckless, we had a safe site and we still had an incident occur. Pay attention to your safety, ensure your safe work method statement documentation is in place, onboard your contractors properly and pay special attention to your high risk work. I'd also like to thank Master Builders SA, they've been great support throughout this process and also the guys at Safework SA. A lot of people find it daunting working with Safework SA, but they're just people like you and me, and they do an excellent job of what they do to keep our industry safe.